an incredible scene at the 23 U.S. Open as Novak Djokovic in a downpour celebrates 24. Congratulations again. Truly incredible. What does this mean to you and to them? It's amazing. I've, it's uh, it's hard, hard, hard to um, hard to talk right now and you know use the words to describe the feelings. I guess it probably didn't settle in yet um, fully with me. You know the achievement, of course, of 24. Uh, I, I was ho I was hoping that I can make more history. That that's something that drives me, no doubt. Um, but you know, I, I was I was very much aware that I'm playing an opponent that pretty much kicked my butt two years ago in the finals here when I was going for history, and I didn't want to repeat the same result. I didn't want to have the same feeling. So it was very important for me. All of my surrounding knew my team, my family. They had to kind of leave me alone, really, in the last 24 hours. To, to, so, so that I can go about my things, um, you know, the routine, so that I can treat this match as any other and not really think about what's on the line. Because there's always something on the line, you know, especially in the last couple of years. But yeah, I mean, I, I started off the tournament incredibly well. Uh, sorry, the first set today. And I think. <laughs> And um, I think I think really what made the difference today was was the second set that was was one of the longest sets I've ever played in my life, the almost two hours. Of the yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, it, I knew that he's not going to go down without a fight. He was probably the player that was closer to win the second. You know, I, I was losing my breath and my legs on so many occasions in the second set. So, yeah, I think that was the key. It was such a relief to win the second set. In the third, it was really ju just step over the line, you know, just serve and volley, shorten up the points, don't get into too long rallies. And <coughs> he missed in some big points, you know, he missed a couple of shots. And uh, here we are. <laughs> Nelly, 24 slams now. You're about to get to 390 weeks, the number, world number one, seven times year end number one. I'm missing a million other historical <laughs> stats you've, you've accomplished. Is there one that stands out that you're the most proud of? Is this it now at 24? Uh, I mean, there are two things, in my opinion, I think probably a lot of people would agree that stand out as the greatest achievements, that are considered as the greatest achievements in our sport, which is who wins the most slams or who, stay, who is longest number one. So I think both of those things, you know, it's, it's tough to uh, say which one matters the most, uh, more to me. Um, but I think at this stage is, is more about slams. Because you know I managed to, to break the record for longest number one, and you know to, to really chase the number one rankings, you gotta always play many tournaments. I'm not playing as much uh, as I as I used to, so now it's everything is kind of directed towards slams. How do I get ready to play my best best tennis and slams? So if someone told me I'll play, I'll win three out of four slams and play another finals in Wimbledon. At the beginning of the year, I would sign it right away. <laughs> and I'll sign for next year, the same scenario, <laughs> no doubt. So um, I'll keep going. 27 keep going. and 1. Now listen, 2005, you make your debut here. So 18 years later, you become the oldest champion. And we have Coco Goff becoming the youngest champion since 1999, Serena Williams. What are your impressions about that? The oldest and youngest for a long <laughs> well, time. Well, you, you threw you threw a couple of the, the numbers that were matching, right? The yes, 12. 12 and 12. Both you guys won Cincy, Cincy in the Open for your numerical 24. There we go. I love the numerology. Thanks for <laughs> thanks for bringing that out, and well done to you and uh, and of course Coco. Amazing, uh, amazing championship for her. Amazing uh, U.S. U.S. hardcore season for her. And uh, she's great for the sport, no doubt. You know, youngest champion, uh, someone that has uh, evolved and, and, and improved so much in the last couple of years. So good luck to her. And uh, it's obviously great for US Open to have an American champion. Hopefully they are uh, at least half happy with my win today, <laughs> as much as they were with her, her, her title yesterday. And uh, yeah, it's just uh, the, the history of this sport always drives me. As I said, there is no, no secret that 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 gets me going, you know, uh, still, uh, you know, I I feel good in my own body. I feel like I'm playing on a, on a high level. Why stop? You know, I want to keep pushing, pushing myself and there are no limits. Let's see how far I can go. So with the, with the no limits, you said you on, on the court, you said Wimbledon title was first your dream. Now it's becoming setting history. Do you have any future specific goals or dreams now that you've already accomplished so much? 
I mean, uh, I'll take any slam you give me. <laughs> I mean, uh, regardless where it is. So, uh, you know, my 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 priorities, uh, my schedule is going to stay the same for next year, which is slams. You know, slams yeah. matter most, and playing for my team, for my country, and Olympics. You know, that's something that really. I guess inspires me the most, inspires me the most, motivates me the most for the next season. And uh, yeah, let's see. I mean, right now I just want to enjoy the success and for a few days because I'm playing for for Serbia and Davis Cup. You're gonna play days. on Wednesday yeah. in Serbia? Uh, we're playing on Tuesday. Tuesday. I'm not gonna play on Tuesday, <laughs> but uh, but I'll play on Friday, Friday and Saturday. Oh, That's wow. incredible. Good effort. So the, most people, this would be a dream come true to win one of these, they go out, crazy celebration. You've done it 24 times. Do you have a specific celebration already locked in now? I don't know how crazy we can go, really, uh, <laughs> tonight. Uh, I'm going to my, – my, my, my kids were asking me yesterday, Daddy, where are you going to celebrate? And how are you going to celebrate? I yeah. said, well, Daddy's going to be with you. Uh, then after I put you to sleep, I might go somewhere. I don't know. <laughs> we went pretty hard last you know, night. I can imagine. Until, until I three can in the morning, yeah. It was like 1999. I'm I, I might, I might uh, yeah, I might use the fact that we're in, a, I guess, greatest city in the world, you know, New York City. Yeah. So uh, no, Becky, you can find something let's, to do. Let's, uh, let's party. Yeah. <laughs> Got to fight for your right. <laughs> you mentioned your children. That was such a great moment. Your daughter was able to come down yeah. to the core. We talk about this, the idea of playing until your kids can form their own memories. What did it mean to look up into the box and see parents and wife and children? That was family up there. So uh, so my wife was really, uh, when we were talking yesterday about who's going to sit where in the box or because we had too many people and too, too, uh, <coughs> too little seats in the box. So, um, you know, we had to sit people, uh, people elsewhere. And we, um, we were talking about the, the, the children, and I didn't know where they're going to sit. So when I, when I was seated at the first changeover, I was at the, at the bench, and I was facing my daughter. And I, I saw her right away, and I was like, oh, my God. She's sitting in the, fir in the front row facing me, and she, she smiled at me. She gave me a fist bump. And I swear to God, every single time I was struggling, I was too stressed and under big tension, I would look at her, we would make an eye contact, and she would, you know, she would awaken this kind of lightness of being, you know, kind of playfulness and joy in me. And uh, and then, yeah, of course, she was the first one that I'm gonna hug. So, you know, it's 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 incredible to have my family, my children, my wife, my parents here, celebrate with them. Their support and love is something that allowed me to be here with you and and with this trophy. Congratulations. Thank you so much. I Stand appreciate up, you guys. Thanks. Celebrate with them. Eight. <laughs> Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.